story time. So if the children will please go by and pick up those little green flags that people have out there. Josie 
And um, so they, they prayed about it and they finally put an ad online and they got a phone call. And they got a phone call from April. <clears throat> and April said, we would like to come and meet Josie. Well, uh, Cindy was like, oh, uh, well, uh, it was just a little bit soon because April called right away. And, and Cindy was like, well, I, I don't know. Maybe it's two hours for you to get here. It, it might be too long. And anyways, and so they kind of left it at that for a little bit. And then um, April's husband called that very same day and said, we really would like to come and see Josie because I'm off the next couple of days and, and we could spend some time with Josie and get to know each other and it would be perfect. And so they said, okay. So Chris and April got there about nine o'clock at night and they met Josie and they got to learn all about her and they felt like this was the right doggy for them. They loved Josie too. So. So they said goodbye to Josie, and Chris and April took Josie home with them. And uh, they told um, Tom and Cindy that they could come and visit Josie anytime they wanted to, which was nice. Because you start to feel like your pets are your family, right? But anyways, so Chris and April had 32 acres of land. They had a big piece of property too. And so Josie could go outside, she could run around and play, she could come in and hang out with people and everything. And she was just as happy as could be. And when they would go to bed at night, Josie would sleep right at the foot of the bed. And whenever um, April had to get up, this is the neat part of the story, whenever April had to get up or got up, Josie would be right there with her. And April had a, a health condition that um, she knew was going to get worse as she got older. And so she decided that maybe Josie would be a good dog to take to um, training school if they train them to be helper dogs. They, they would help you or, or you or you. They'd help your mom or grandma or grandpa. And you've seen them. They're called service dogs. And they have a special, sometimes you see a dog and it has a special kind of, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, harness thing on them. And those are service dogs, and they're trained especially to help that person. And so um, God was able to use Josie, wasn't he, to help April, right? So the point of my story is, that if God loves the animals and God loves the creatures of this world that he put here on this earth, that he loves you even, in, even more. Gilbert and Michaela, and what's her name? Kaylin. Kaylin. And even, and Kaylin, he loves you. He loves you. You are his little prizes. And so he has a plan for you too, okay? And can you think of any other animals in the Bible that God used? Can you think of some more animals in the Bible that God used? He didn't really mention dogs, I don't think. But did, can you think of something else? What? What animal can you think of in the Bible that, you, that they talk about in the Bible? Tigers. Okay. I don't know about, is there a tiger in the Bible? Is there? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the animals that went to the ark. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking of like can you think of one? Donkey, right? What about whale? Whale, remember Jonah and the whale? And ravens, right? The birds. And what about um Daniel and the lion's den. That wasn't a tiger, but it was a lion's. And what did God do for that? What did God do? He made all the animals and trees. He did. He made all the animals and trees. And what did he do when Daniel was in the lion's den? What did he do with the lions? He saved Right. He closed their mouths, didn't he? So, they, so the lions couldn't bite him. Anyways, so God has a special plan for all of his creatures, and he has a special plan for each one of you. 
So let's pray, okay? Close our eyes. Thank you so much, dear Jesus, for all the children that are here today, and all moms and dads and grown-ups. We know that you love each one of us. You've put us all here for a reason. We know that you care and love the animals too. So help us, Lord, to be the people that you put us here to be, and help us always to be kind to the animals too. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.